it's a very technical procedural um, issue in order to put in evidence a deposition you have to be able to show why the witness is not able to come to court and so since mr. Bennett is incarcerated in a federal prison um, the state court judge can't issue an order that asks the bailiffs or the marshals to bring him to court well I'm going to do what the judge asked which is find out whether there's an alternative way for him to be brought to court to be able to testify um, that would require the marshals to say that's okay and so I have to figure that out so if the marshals would deny your request to bring him here then that's how his deposition would be allowed to be used in court I, I think that the court would like me to explore alternatives and if I explore them and the answer is I can't have the marshals bring him here then to show her that that is in fact a basis for me to be able to use his deposition well the primary issue there's one primary asset which is Isabella's home and that home is in a homeowners association where there are um, association dues and taxes that are accumulating and as you know that if you don't pay those um, the association can foreclose on your house so um, there's a minor child here and there's mr. Bennett who under the law are entitled to that house and in Unless we can have that house marshaled and liquidated, it's going to get lost. I, I can guarantee you Mr. Bennett would, would, he himself would much prefer that they find Isabella. I think that he thinks that because she was on the boat with him and the boat sank in the ocean that that's not 